Hi everyone, my name is Marco Knox. I'm the founder of The Phytogenic Chef. I'm honored to have the opportunity to collaborate with Balance.org during this precarious time that we're all going through. Our sincere hope is that we can offer some relief to you in the kitchen by way of these quick videos and recipes. So without further delay, let's get right into it. Today, I'm going to share with you how to make a plant-based mac and cheese. And you know what? It's gonna take less than 15 minutes, I promise. The ingredient list and directions are in the comments below, so make sure you check that out if you wanna follow along at home. But other than that, I'm just gonna get started and show you how to do this. Okay, here we go. I have gone ahead and cooked three cups of elbow macaroni. Now, I prefer a bean pasta, but any pasta that you wanna use will suffice for this recipe. I have also got a high-speed Vitamix. If you have a high-speed blender, that'll work. And we're just gonna add the ingredients to this. I've got one cup of pre-soaked raw cashews. I've got a half a cup of pre-cooked potatoes and a half a cup of pre-cooked carrots. Right into the blender. I've got a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, also goes into the blender. And then I've got a quarter teaspoon of the following. Cayenne, which is optional. I like a little spicy. If you don't want it spicy, omit the cayenne. Smoked paprika, pink Himalayan sea salt. <laughs> Himalayan, by the way, not Himalayan. Uh, turmeric, ground black pepper, and ground garlic. Goes right in there with it. I'm going to add a quarter cup of cold filtered water. And we're just gonna start this thing on low. Break those cashews up, those potatoes up, and those carrots up. As it thickens, I will add the rest of that water. Ahead and work. There we go. I'm going to add some cold water back to that. There we go. All right, let it do its thing. Turn it up. It's going to get loud in here, people. Consistency looks spot on from here, but you always want to taste it. Mm, that's it. I'm not going to fool with that. If you're trying this at home and the taste isn't quite there for you, you can add a little more of the ingredients, a little salt and pepper to, to enhance it if you like. But other than that, we're just going to add this to our pre-cooked pasta that I showed you earlier. Look at that. I always hold a little bit back. Mix it up. Look how creamy that is. Can you believe that this is plant-based? I mean, seriously, people, 100% made from plants. Nothing left to do but eat it now. Serve it up in your favorite bowl or dish. This recipe, by the way, is a serving for four. So if you've got more in the house, just adjust accordingly. If you got less in the house, you might have some leftovers for the next day or adjust accordingly. I like to add a little bit of uh, snip dried chives to mine. And there you go, that's it. 100% plant-based, creamy mac and cheese. And what did I say? Under 15 minutes, I delivered on that promise. You know what, it might be under 10 minutes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you like this, please engage with us in the comments. Let us know what you liked about it. If you tried to make this recipe at home and it tasted wonderful, let us know. We'd love to hear that too. We're going to try to continue this weekly, and uh, that's going to be solely based on your feedback, guys. So let us know. We'd love to keep doing this for you. Until next time, peace, love, and plants.